For those of you with a Mac, I wanted to show you one other cool application, which is called FontBook. You'll find it in your applications of your computer. Um, it's off the screen right now in my view, but I put a picture of the application in my post. But FontBook is kind of a cool place just to look through your fonts. And I use this quite a bit. What's nice about FontBook is you can actually create collections to help you find fonts. You can actually scroll through and see all the fonts as well. I do this quite a bit when I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want to look for. What's especially nice is you can actually create, like I said, custom collections so that there's, there are some that exist here already, so like traditional, modern, etc. But you can make a new collection. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new collection and I'm going to call it Favorites. So here you can see it over here. To add fonts to my favorites, all I do is drag them in. So Alex Brush is one of my favorites, so I'm going to drag that in, whoops, drag that into there. And then another one that I like a lot is this Avenir. I find myself looking for that a lot. Botanical Scribe is one I just purchased that I've been wanting to get for a long time. So there you are, there it is, so Botanical Scribe. And I can just keep scrolling down. Caviar Dreams, that's one from Font Squirrel that I picked up. And I can keep going down, like I said, and as I find one that I want to add to my favorites, I can just drag it in. What's also nice about FontBook is that, let's say you accidentally, this is actually a duplicate. If you look at my Gil Sands, I actually have bold and extra bold here. So this was somehow I got a duplicate copy of it. I can go ahead and right click on it or control click and hit remove this right here to take that out. That's also helpful if you have a font you don't want, want anymore. So like this serif font that's funky looking, I can go to remove and it disappears. So if you've ever downloaded a font and you've been like, ooh, I really don't want that anymore. Like for example, down the road, I have this flange font. This is basically the Thomas the Train font. I might remove that from my computer at some point. Like I said, if you just right or control click, you can go to remove font. Here I have my favorites again and I can see these. You can make a variety of different lists. You can add to these obviously. They've got These are web friendly fonts. Once again, you can just go through and scroll. This is just an easy way to find fonts on your computer.